This is part 17 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the use of as enumerable and as queryable operators. Both of these operators belong to conversion operators category. There are two overloaded versions of as queryable operator. One of the overloaded version converts i enumerable to i queryable. The other overloaded version converts a generic i enumerable of t to a generic i queryable of t. The main use of as queryable operator is in unit testing to mock a queryable data source using an in-memory data source. If this statement does not make sense at the moment, don't worry. We will discuss this operator in detail with examples in our unit testing video tutorial. Now let's look at as enumerable operator. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be using this employees table in this demo. So the first step here is to create this employees table which I have already done and here is the SQL script that can do it. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Now what we want to do is retrieve the top five male employees by salary and then display them in a console application. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a new console application. So to this project, let's add a new item. Make sure we have data selected under install templates and then select link to SQL classes. And let's name this employee DB. Click add. And then let's now open the server explorer and then expand data connections and then expand tables there. We should find employees tables there. So simply drag and drop it onto the designer surface. So here we have a link to SQL class. Now what we want to do is retrieve the top five male employees by salary and then display them. So the first step here is to create an instance of this um, DB data context class. Let's call it DB equals new employee DB data context. Now where result equals db dot employees. So this property is going to return us all the employees from this table employees. But what we want is top five male employees. So let's use a where clause and retrieve only male employees. So let's specify our lambda expression x such that x dot gender equals male. And we don't want all male employees. We want the top five male employees by salary. So let's sort the employees by salary in descending order using order by descending extension method. And then specify our lambda expression to sort by salary. And then what we want to do is take the five employees. So this link query is going to return us the top five male employees by salary. And all that is left is to use a for each loop. So for each var e in the result, what we want to do is print out the employee name. Let's print out back um, a tab space. And then we want to print the employee salary and then the gender. All right. Now, before we run this, let's go to SQL Server and open a SQL profiler and then run a new trace. And within the event selection, we don't want any audit information. So let's get rid of those checkboxes. Click Run. Now, let's go ahead and run our application. So notice that we have the top five male employees by salary. Now come here and then look at the query that is generated. So let's copy it and paste it within SQL Server Management Studio. So notice the SQL query. We have the top keyword, top five. We have the where clause to filter employees, you know, by male, you know, by gender. Basically, we only want male employees. And then we also have the order by class. Notice that we are sorting the employees by salary in descending order. So whatever we have specified here within the link query, you know, the link to SQL provider has generated the corresponding SQL query. And that's executed against the SQL Server database. And it's a SQL Server which is giving us the right data. All right. And if you look at this link query here, at the moment we are not using as enumerable operator. Now let's go ahead and use as enumerable operator right here. So db.employees.asenumerable. 
okay now when we say you know db dot employees what is it going to do it's going to retrieve all the columns and all the rows from employees table right so after that we are using as enumerable and then we have the other operators that is where auto buy and take right now let's go ahead and run this so we will have the same output now let's go back to SQL profiler and look at the query that is generated so here is the SQL query now look at the SQL query it's simple plain select statement without top where and auto buy okay so what's going on here so what is this as enumerable doing so basically this as enumerable operator it breaks the query into two parts right the inside part that is the query before as enumerable is executed as linked to SQL so if you look at you know what do we have before this as enumerable we have just DB dot employees so the corresponding SQL statement for that is select all the columns from that table okay so that you know for that part, the link to SQL provider is going to generate the corresponding SQL query, execute it against the SQL server database, retrieve all the employees from employees table, and then whatever query we have after as enumerable, this will be executed as link to objects, meaning you know whatever data that we have in memory, on that we will have the where, order by, and top keywords applied. So the processing is going to happen on the client side. Okay, so essentially what is this as enumerable operator doing? It's breaking the query into two parts, right? Now what do you think is going to happen if I just take that and then stick it in after where extension method? So before as enumerable, we, ha we also have the where operator. Now let's run this and inspect the SQL query that is generated. So if you have been following along, you know now within the SQL query we should also have the where clause but not auto buy and top so notice that we have the select all the columns from the table we have the where clause as well and we are filtering on gender so we only want male employees but we don't have this auto buy and top why is that that's because you know those operators will be executed as linked to objects in on the in-memory data set that we have. So this part will be executed against SQL Server, retrieve the data, and then order by and top keywords are applied you know, on the in-memory objects. So essentially, as enumerable operator is breaking the query into two parts. The inside part will be executed as linked to SQL, the outside part will be executed as linked to objects. So in this example, you know, this is the query that was generated and then the where, order by, and top operators are applied on the client side. So in short, use as enumerable operator to move query processing to the client side. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.